Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where this is a little bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie. However, this guy is the primary heir of this guy and he is betrothed to our daughter and player heir. Now, we're really hoping that we're gonna get some proper children out of this. Fingers crossed on that one. But it is basically the end of the game, so I'm not sure how much we actually care. But we do need to help out this guy in his rather large rebellion that he's got going on here. And both sides currently have the maximum in terms of their war score from occupation. So we are, of course, chasing down these armies. These guys are going to take a ludicrous amount of attrition going through here. And I'm not necessarily okay with it. Yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> that's, in fact, almost certainly better. We're going to continue chasing these guys and hope that we can catch them up over here. I think they're turning around. So if we can catch them, that's great. Where is the current war leader? He is in this stack over here. Okay, good to know. So we are going to stop this from falling apart again. <laughs> And that's wonderful. They have decided they don't want to go that route since I issued that movement order. Fair enough. We got to get out of this desert. We move so slowly in the desert and so much attrition. Ow. Okay. Where are these guys at? They're over here? Okay, why don't they come around, say... I wanted to have them selected. Why don't they come around, say, over to here? Approximately. We may revise that position a little bit later on. Let's exit these deserts. Okay. Our wife died, and apparently we think that's a good thing. Sure. We're just going to cruise in over this way and see if we can catch this 7k stack anyway. I think that we might. This guy is calling us in against another uprising. And we will accept. Okay. This guy is having a real hard time keeping his empire held together. And that's not necessarily a good thing for us, of course. Okay, we need to take a look at what's going on here. Um, it's a populist uprising? Oh, he should be able to take care of that, no problem. Okay. Okay. So we're going to catch a small straggler section of this force here. Just a small bit. And that will stack wipe. And that'll get us some war score here anyway. And we're going to make our way up over here. And these guys... I mean, the supply limit is so low over here in Arabia. It's rough. It's very rough. We do have a dangerous faction. Oh, we got to deal with this. Okay, that's 15% there. That's Catholic. So is this guy. I won't help. Okay. Let's see what that does. Will that disband the faction? It's a good thing I checked. <laughs> okay. That disbanded the faction. Good. Good, good, good. That would have been bad if that had happened. So we're going to make our way over here, see if we can catch some of these guys. Yeah, they're going to make another independence faction. We're not surprised by this, to be clear. I think that we should actually come down this way and embark. And go after where their war leader is. That is, if I can... That's a really, really awkward scenario here with this tooltip. Apparently we can't click on this war. Okay. <gasps> Wonderful. That is just amazing, right there. Okay. We gotta catch some of these guys. There's no doubt about that. So we're going to embark over here eventually. Come on, embark. You can do it. There you go. Okay, and then we're going to come down, like, over to here. 
We should be able to get there fairly quickly. And yes, this faction is becoming a thing again. We're not surprised by this. Now, we could demand conversion of this guy. We have an 87% chance of acceptance, and I'm going to fire with those odds. Fantastic. That'll get him out of that faction. Very nice. Okay. Betrothed can marry. Do it. Let's get these guys up over here. And I want to cut these off. Let's go. Yes, this force will get crushed if they fight these alone. But that's expected and completely fine. We really do need to resupply. There's no doubt about that. Is this just ticking war score here? No, there's occupation. Is this guy not fighting it? Where are his troops? No, seriously, where are our allies' troops? Are they not raised? Sir, where are your troops? He only has 17k. Interesting. Okay, so we are going to raise a few additional troops over here. We're going to come on in over this way from multiple directions. He's not into it. I am not surprised. I don't blame him. We have him caught now, though. For sure. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, he's caught. Fantastic. What do we have for leadership over here? It's okay. And... I'm gonna let this gather up to around 50k. And we're gonna come over here and see if we can fight these guys. Wonderful. So we'll crush these two forces. Get them out of here. And that'll win us back a little bit of war score anyway. And I'm not sure... Is this a hostile occupation? Yes, it is. Okay. We can come take this back. That'll be fine. And we did occupy that. So let's group up over here. These guys are on their way in and fighting. That's perfect. We will go ahead and crush this force a little bit. Perfect. And we're going to come down over here and attack this force. Wonderful. We'll group in over here. Take this back. There we go. And we're going to need to do what exactly? Well, I really wish that I could see who the war leader was here. Maybe if we allow this to happen and then... Defending against this guy. This guy should be the war leader. Where is he? He is leading this army still. Okay. But this is his capital up here, right? So what if we were to come up and siege that? Wonderful. Let's do that. Okay. So we're fighting these guys over here and just trying to earn some scraps of war score. Looks like they're going to walk in. And we've got this under control pretty much, but we didn't end the battle. Okay. Excellent. We died. That's okay. We're not surprised by this. It does hurt a little bit that it happened at this exact moment. We need to hand out some domain titles. That's fine. We don't mind this. We can grant this, we can grant this, we can grant this, and we can grant this. Okay, there's that problem solved. Next, we are above our vassal limit, that's fine. We should definitely be in intrigue, and apparently we've gone down the seducer tree. We're gonna go for a skullduggery focus instead. We do need new counselors, and we will go ahead and assign some. And right now, I'm just putting in powerful vassals because they are all very upset. They are very upset -y in their spaghetti. We'll put this guy in as well. Actually, we can't. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. So. There's a disabled building in Babur, apparently. Okay. So. First thing we're going to need to do is back off of Absolute Crown Authority. We will allow them to do a Liberty Faction if that's what they want to do. 
This guy, we do need to arrange a marriage with. We have a half-brother, and this would do the trick. Fantastic. This guy, we should probably try to do the same. We have another half-brother, and this would do the trick. Wonderful. We're the new dynasty head, and that pulled those guys out of that faction. Okay. This Liberty Faction is gaining some power. And let's see here. They're all currently... Well, there's some populists there. But they're all currently too weak. These guys are going to come down over this way. Actually, they're going to come up over this way. I changed my mind. We're still embarking over here. And that's completely okay. Now, this is currently our player heir, but that's also fine. Now, this guy, he doesn't have many troops. And where are his troops? Over here, sieging. I mean, I guess it's okay. I'd rather he be doing that than, you know, fighting, I think. Okay, so we have an independence faction here. This guy, he is the wrong religion, and he's not going to accept changing. We are potentially able to do this, though. Yeah, there's a risk of them being inbred, but it'll stop a civil war, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So we'll get him out of there. Excellent. There's that faction disbanded. The Liberty faction is growing. And that's acceptable. We knew that that was going to be the case, and we will just acquiesce that. We don't mind. Okay, we're sieging over here. That's not efficient. We're just going to walk our way over here. This war is going kind of poorly. And in fact, these guys should be going after this war up over here. This is the way they're supposed to be going. So they're going to come up over this way and see about dealing with that. We're going to land at this capital over here, the clan of Mesopotamia, and just see about getting rid of that. Okay, so this independence faction is currently too weak to send an ultimatum. The liberty faction is going to send an ultimatum, as are the populists. That is acceptable. That betrothal is fulfilled, and that is a very, very good thing for us. Okay. So we're going to keep an eye on these factions. We do have their capital sieged up now. And that does mean that we gained that 10% war score. Let's see where this war leader is located now. He's back down over here. What a jerk. I'd like to come fight this force if we can. That would be ideal. Let's do it. He's walking away. I'm not shocked by this. That's another 17k on their way in. That's not bad for us, to be clear. We're going to see about catching this guy. I think it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Yeah, we caught him. Perfect. And the 17k are going to come in, but that's fine. We still win that. These guys are still on their way up over this way, and we want to attack over here. We are continuing to fight these guys, and they're doing pretty well, all things considered. Yep, we're going to fight these guys, no problem there. We gained a level of fame from that, perfect. There's a lot of troops over here. Okay, let's go down there. There we go. We did battle there. That means we're winning this war now. Perfect. Enemy allies are continuing to join and leave the war. This is not surprising. Okay, let's take a look at this. This independence faction needs to be dealt with. So we can just negotiate an alliance with this guy. And the liberty faction we're okay with. The Catholic populists are pretty much going to happen. Hmm. This guy makes it a problem. Thirty-five opinion. Two percent. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's all that helpful. 
we're not going to be able to marry somebody off to this guy either. He will not accept this because of the differing religion, of course. So we may just have to fight this guy. I mean, realistically, these numbers are not real, right? This wouldn't be a problem if we weren't embroiled in these other wars right now. Okay, so we allied that guy. And that disbanded that faction. Perfect. The Liberty faction, we will just acquiesce to. These guys, they're a problem. One that I'm not sure we can do much about. In all honesty. I mean, we can send them a gift, but I don't think it's going to actually help. It's it's not like we're going to miss the money, but I, I don't think it's going to ultimately help. So there's this war one. That's great. We're going to bring these guys down and try to attack over here. We're also going to raise up a few more troops. Okay, there's that war over. So, these populists, yeah, they're going to send their ultimatum, and we will call in our allies. We'll try to go up there. I actually don't know if we're going to be capable of stopping them at this juncture. It's awkward, but I'm not sure that we'll be able to, because we're embroiled in so many other things right now. We'll see. We will see. So we're gathering a few troops over here. These guys are heading south. They have some numbers down here, but we may have enough. In fact, I'd argue that we probably do. Yeah, I'm going to stop gathering here, and we're going to send these guys up over here to reinforce. We did manage to catch a small portion of that army. And they're kind of piling in at this point. So we're going to need our reinforcements up here. Yeah, we're not surprised that this is happening. So we're going to rally the troops and we are going to call in all of our allies, which is mostly just this guy who isn't going to be all that helpful <laughs> in all honesty. We'll do that for now. And we're going to come up over here. Yeah, look at all these places that they're just immediately sieging. I actually am not of the belief that we can defend against this necessarily. But we will drop troops over here and we'll attempt to raise up some troops. Now, there's not that many that we can raise currently because we're pr we're pulled pretty thin right now. But we'll see what we can do. We may end up losing some areas. We'll be able to reconquer them. But it's not helpful. Okay, so we won that battle. These guys are going to need to head up here. Like, they gotta get up here. It's gonna take them a really long time to do so. These sieges are going to continue. The, the Liberty Faction. Yes, we accept this. That we absolutely accept. That drops us down to High Crown Authority from Absolute. And is this... Uh, there are some areas over here as well. Okay. So I believe that their occupations are uncapped here, and that's the problem. We need to win a battle over here. A battle. In order to keep them from enforcing their demands so that we can get troops up here. That's going to be the issue. See, they're already starting to win some of these sieges. And that's to be expected, to be clear. We're fighting down here, and that's actually perfect. I didn't know that we were doing that, but we'll accept it. Yeah, this is fine. This is completely fine. And as far as this goes, this is going to take them forever to get up here. So, these troops. We only have 7,000 here. 7,000. How many unraised troops do we have? 193. <laughs> we need to get them here. ASAP. 
this is going to be rough. I'm actually going to have these guys not make it all the way up there. They're instead going to come in over here and see if we can just win back some of this war score and get them capped. Okay. We're going to need to not gather these. And I think we're going to need to walk over here and hope that they take the attrition and hope that we win that battle. Now, you can see here, we're currently at minus 14%. We should be able to get up here in time, maybe not to stop this siege, but in time to fight some of these guys. Oh, that's very convenient for us, actually. The Grand Emirate of Sicily is fighting some of them for us. That's a good thing. Now, this independence faction needs to be dealt with. It was awkward time for the succession. There's no doubt about that. We can have... That doesn't get us an alliance. Hmm. That doesn't get us an alliance either. I hate it. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. But we gotta do it. It has to be done right now. Over here. Can we get an alliance with this guy? I kind of don't think we can. What about this guy? No. What about this guy? Yes. Okay. So that destroyed that faction, so we don't need to deal with anybody else for right now. We do need to get our steward in here. And these guys embarked. We'll have to come up here. Non-ideal. Okay. How's this battle going down here? We have one? Perfect. These guys are all in retreat. Not these guys, actually. We're going to swing around to see if we can attack them. Yeah, they're winning more of these sieges all the time. Looks like we're going to catch those folks. That's great. And we're going to come up here. We need to fight battles here. This has to happen. Good. We win this. That was really close, whether that was going to be a win or a loss, but we did end up winning it. Or we will win it. It was huge that that happened. That, that did, however, mean that we had time to stop this. And that is really, really good. This now means that they can no longer enforce their war goals from just occupation. So, let's go up to here and begin a siege. We won this as well. Can we reach these guys before they embark? No. How long would this take to siege? Seven months. Do it. Okay. We're now relatively safe. Relatively. Um, as far as this war goes, we really need to win back some areas that they have occupied. I'm not sure which areas are their occupation, but I'm guessing it's these over here and this up here. So let's go up here and see if we can win some of these back to get some war score. We need to get some war score in this war. And the way to do that is to get war score back from them. Okay, so we're just sieging there and we're walking up over here. Who is the war leader of this? That is this guy and he is located up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this force in half once it finishes arriving over here. And we're going to take this half and we're going to send them up here to group up with these guys. So that we can start fighting some of these forces. We now do have time to do that and that will be fine. Okay, so let's take back some of these areas over here. We're going to grab this. What? You're my brother. Why are you trying to seduce me? Stop. Okay. Very awkward. We do need to look at this faction. Okay, so this guy, is there anything we can do about him? That's a negative. This person. Anybody, anything we can do about them? Yes. Do it. 
Fantastic. Get them out of there. Next up. This guy. Anything we can do about him? The answer to that is possibly. The answer to that is yes. Good. Good, good, good. So we'll bring that back. And there we go. He'll leave this. And we'll come back to that in a moment. Just checking in on these situations up here. These are now hostile to us. Fascinating. Some enemies left the war. Ah, this guy died. Fascinating. Okay. Well, these guys are at their current cap unless they win a battle. And that is, of course, why we are bringing reinforcements around. We do not want them to win a battle. That would be literally the worst thing that they could possibly do at this point for us, is win a battle. So we're going to move over to here and begin working on... Hello, pause menu. And begin working on getting some of these back. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finish this all off. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.